we're gonna make tiropita today. Tiropita is like spanakopita but without the spinach. Different cheeses, creamy. We're gonna make some kind of cream here and it's good for parties. You don't need this every day but it's so good. But in Greece they have tiropita, the little triangle things, you can have it for breakfast. But anyway, you have it for a Paris, for special occasion, for a, a, a holiday, and stuff like that. This cheese is Kefalograviera. Now, Kefalo, oh boy, I, and I love this cheese. Kefalograviera is it's very expensive, expensive yeah. cheese. What is it, $14 a pound? Something like that, yeah. Mm -hmm. We're gonna put one cup, we're gonna grate it, and we're gonna put one cup uh, of this into the um, tiropita. Okay, what? <sighs> we just got it, that's why. Now, I wanna pick the edge a little bit. Okay, this is fine. This is gonna be good. Don't buy grated cheese. It's not some missing but if you don't have the obvious in some place you're not gonna find this cheese so you can put feta cheese in um to the hard cheese in your you know what you like but make sure it's hard and you you're gonna eat some of that uh yeah i guess i don't know there's no onions. no onions no onions no no cilantro no cilantro just little parsley this is good don't touch it don't touch it what are you going to do with the rest of it? What do you think I'm going to do? I don't know. I'm going to put it in the fridge and eat it. Yeah, but put it in the pasta or whatever. Do you want some? Yeah. Damn, not that much. Just eat something. Mm, oh. That much. Just eat it. Mmm. 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 The aroma. Oh my God. Who wouldn't like Que falo graviera, my God. What's the other ingredients? You gotta tell me, okay? I'll tell you in a minute. That's all the parsley you're gonna use? That's it. And what's that stuff? People gotta know. They can't Hold it. It takes filo. Number four, one cup que falo graviera, or if you don't have it, substitute it with some how much hard the, cheese. How much of the filo dough? Oh, I put like... One pack? Yeah, no, I put like eight layers on the bottom and lay eight, but nine is that, layers is on that the top. in one pack or is it more? Oh, I don't know how many layers is there. I have to, I okay. see. I just want to show people what the filo dough looks like. You did the it package. before. Listen. Yeah, you still got to show people this is what it is. Okay. You need butter, half a cup of flour, two cups milk, a pound crumbled up feta, which is I'm gonna do it in a okay. minute. Nutmeg, a little bit, okay, not much. And four eggs whipped up, because I wanna make it creamy. Cottage cheese, can we say that yet? Wait a minute. It's other cheeses you can put in this, which makes it a little more creamy, but they're terribly expensive. So I tried before, and you can substitute it with that, but you have to make it creamy, okay? The other ones, but is... And you don't have to put cottage cheese. I'm just doing it because it gives <laughs> little creaminess. This blender is 30 years old, 32. Mix it We turn the heater on and we put the butter there. And Heats on one side, butter's on the other. <laughs> Why move it and then move it but, back? Uh, well, whatever. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna add the flour, we're gonna stir constantly and don't let it get lumpy. It won't, it's easy. And I'm gonna crumble the feta. Oh, feta, feta, I grew up with feta, I grew up with the goats, I grew up with... Oh my goodness! How much feta cheese are you using in this? A pound. Oh. I could buy the crumbled up feta, but I don't like it. I don't like it. Is it more expensive? No, but, but it's kind of <laughs> dry, I don't want it. And you don't have to make the feta fine, it's just it can be like... Oh, this is not going to go waste. This is going to be good. Why you point to my face? 
Why? Need vacation for all, from all this cooking. I need vacation. Okay, you don't let your butter burn. Okay, don't let it burn. We're gonna put. Oops. We're gonna put the flour. Okay, see it like this, but it's fine. We're gonna put the milk. Oh, and let it just, we're gonna keep doing this, okay? And it's gonna thick, gonna get thick and thick and thick and thick. And thick, 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 thick. It's gonna get thick. Okay, I think we're done here. I'm gonna turn the fire off, okay? Ah, uh, yeah, you see that? You see everybody, you see boys and girls, no lamps, no nothing. Okay? All right. And we start putting the cheeses in, okay? I think we put more than we need to follow Graviera. Okay. The eggs. Parsley. The cottage cheese. Now this is starting to look more familiar to me. I'm sure I've, I've had this before, yes, right? Yeah. Have, yeah. And let's make it good, okay? Like I said, you don't need this every day, but it's so darn good. I'm pretty sure Mario Vitali is jealous right now. <laughs> He's a nice guy, very nice mm -hmm. guy. I like him. I watch the chew whatever I can because... He does oh, a lot of charity work. He is a sweet yeah. guy. Actually. actually, I saw him live when uh, he was on Jim Late Night with Jimmy Fallon. Oh, really? Yeah, in 2011. Okay, guys. Nutmeg, okay? Nutmeg. Okay, that's it. Not too much. Don't make it too strong. It's plenty good. This is done now, okay? We're gonna melt butter. I'm gonna melt two sticks of butter. This could be stirred a little better. There's still some I will. nutmeg floating on top. I will, but I'm not. It doesn't take a lot of time. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, okay, it's okay, Very chef. Very simple. It's raw eggs in there. So. Tell people what you just I did. What those big lumps in there? I are. put a little bit cream cheese you in put there. Put the whole pack of cream cheese. Because I want to make it a little more creamy. And you thought you could get away with it yeah. without telling me. I want you to go to the bathroom. <laughs> yeah. Because I could get manuri or another cheese, but these cheeses are so expensive. But this, it makes no difference. Don't replace cream cheese with other soft cheeses because I don't know the flavor. Okay, what are you going to do after this? I'm going to put it in the pan with a with a filo. Oh, you see. and the, what about the butter? I want to baste it, I mean brush oh, it. Oh, okay. Let people know about the filo. Oh, Don't yes, take it out too early. No, 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 oh, let yeah. them know now. It's important info. Don't take the filo out early. Do it to the last minute. Leave it okay? in the fridge. Keep it in the fridge covered because it will dry. And when you do it, it has to go fast. I, I like how you miss spots with the butter. That's fine. It doesn't matter. I miss spots. Okay, chef. God almighty. We have a microscope here. <sighs> like this. And if I need more butter, I just melt more, that's all. Okay. Okay. This is, like I said, this is good for a party. I put like nine, ten leaves, <laughs> layers. I put ten. Just uh, Okay, we have another pack.
So how many do you put on the bottom total? I'm going to put 10 to have a little more. Okay, what is this, the second layer? Yeah, second. Okay. Okay, two. Okay, I so wish you, I have a pen like this because yeah, I got So that. you butter every single layer. Every and maybe don't miss every, like, don't it's miss okay. like half of it. It's okay. The Move, then don't touch my stuff. Just go. Okay, I'm fine. I'm doing fine. I'm doing this for 30 years. Three. All right, I'm not going to film every layer. Just people yeah. do it the way that she's doing it. Okay, that's 10 layers. In the 10 bottom. layers. Oh, so you just pour it all in. Mm hmm. Oven's at 350. Could you just get this thing out of my face? And how many layers do you put on top? I'll put another 10. And then how long do you bake it? About 40 minutes or until it gets like golden on top. Okay. Woof, woof, I see. But everybody's oven is different. You know, guys, you can avoid the cream cheese and the carrot cheese. I just like it a little more creamy because it's a party. If you have a party, you don't, Greeks don't put carrot cheese and, uh... Yeah, you're going to spend a lot of time on the party with all that but, cheese. But, no. It's hard. Two years ago, I, I cooked for public place. I got six hundred dollars just cooking plus the. Why don't you do it again? <laughs> Nobody come and the food is gone. I have somebody who wants my mom to cook for food money. Uh, cook, uh, cook uh, and you'll pay her. Three. Let us know. Three. I got my Facebook and Twitter, and you can leave a comment. I it's all linked on my channel and in the Four. description. Send me a message if you'll hire her. Listen, I, they told me to cook for. Four, okay, four. Mm -hmm. For 30 people and I cook for a hundred, you know, and the food is gone in seven minutes. What kind of place was that? Oh, it was some kind of rally they had down there and I have to make oh. it for, it was a bunch of diplomats and senators. Oh, okay, yeah, somebody in Washington, uh, tell us. Four. Okay, I'm not gonna film the rest of this, but 10 four, layers yeah, on top, four. butter on every layer. Mm -hmm. okay, is this the 10th layer? Uh, maybe, but I put one more. Because you're talking and I love that just in case because I, I want this to be mm. flaky. You oh, know? you put a little more butter in the... It's like some people in their spanakopita with the spinach, they put licks in it. No, you don't put licks. I'm going to cover my filo because I'm going to use it in a little bit. Would you just leave? I'm going to pour you some butter. Oh, for God's sake. I tell you. Leave it at that. Man, they don't. That's why God made the woman next to the Adam, because he was... Anyway, I'm going to just make little... Don't cut it to... Just make little lines. Okay. Please don't cut your leaves to my... Where's the knife? What did I... Oh, here it is. Just cut only a little bit on top. Okay. Okay? Not too much. Yeah. Could you let it go? And now, whoops, we're gonna sprinkle a little bit here. You know why? because it doesn't let the dough rise, otherwise it's gonna be, okay. Now they say whatever butter you left, put it on top, I put a little bit, not much. Okay, I think it's done. And now we're gonna put it in the oven in 350, about uh, 40 minutes. There. And let it cook. Now, give me two minutes. Now, the reason, okay, listen. The authentic Greek teropita is with cephalograviera and what do you call the feta and all the other stuff. I did this cottage cheese and what do you call the other uh, cream cheese in case you can make creamy 
you see how the milk goes with the flour and the butter but if you want a little more creamy you can do it usually I don't but if you have a party you can do that give me a few minutes now okay all right let's cut this teropita here and it should be more set there more what uh, this, you know but we try it anyway more what I wanted more cool oh. because I'm telling you you cut it tomorrow it's gonna be you're just gonna lift each piece like that yes okay there you go this is good it's not yours is not gonna come like this okay because oh god it's hot let it out for hour hour and a half mm -hmm. oh my god yeah it is the robot but it's hot I like it warm you know you cut it you cut it with clean cut tomorrow you put it in the fridge tomorrow it's gonna be cut like a block of chocolate you know cheese warm it up in the oven and it's okay and it's really good okay you eat yours yeah it's very it's very it's very um very hot oops mm -hmm. Oh my god, the filo with the butter. Oh boy. Stand next to the, closer to that. Oh boy. Get the knife out of the way. Mmm. Mmm. It's gonna be clean cut tomorrow, trust me guys. Oh my gosh. Mmm.